add hyperlinks to any Adobe InDesign project. The one I like to use is going over here into your toolbox and you have the rectangle frame tool and it's kind of a blank, think of it as a blank rectangle. And what I do is I actually will just copy this. You can copy and paste it, but I hold my option key down and make a copy of that. So it's on that column. So this one has one line, one line, two lines, one line. So I will copy this. I will option and drag this here, or you can copy and paste it. Um, here's a two liner. And then I will extend this down below that. And I have one more two liner down here. I will copy, actually drag and paste these single liners right here. And I'll do the same over here. I'm going to drag and copy these. Basically, I'm setting up all of these invisible rectangles here. I'm going to make this one here a little bit bigger. So now if you go to uh, view and then you go to screen mode and you go normal, you can see all of the different rectangles. So now all you have to do after you do that is you click this one and you right click it actually and go to hyperlinks. You see that's going to go to page three. So I type that in there for page three. You go to, um, I'm sorry, hyperlinks. You go to new hyperlinks and you change the, uh, the drop down to page change it to three, hit OK, and see how it has the dashed line or the marching ants or whatever you want to call it. Now the, I do the same thing to four, hyperlinks, right click, new hyperlink, I go to page four. It remembers this dialog, so it makes it very easy to go along. So now I right click this one, hyperlinks, new hyperlinks, I change this to five, six, same thing, change that to six. And you do that throughout all the documents. And then when you export the uh, file as an interactive PDF, um, they're hyperlinked. It's really that simple.